Hey Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Death card, which is Scorpio. Maybe you're connecting to a Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio placements, but I feel like this could be about some sort of um, connection here. I feel like a connection is going through a rebirth. Um, maybe right now it doesn't feel like it because something is happening in a way that just doesn't, you know, really say rebirth. It may just say, you know, the ending of a cycle, but I feel like deep down inside there's a change. There's a transformation between you and a person. It doesn't feel like it's over. Um, if anything, it kind of feels like it's just getting started. I don't know how else to explain it, but it doesn't look the way that it or doesn't seem the way that it looks or looks the way that it seems at this point you know who really knows but we have the king of cups the lovers which is gemini queen of wands and the hanged man which is pisces so again it feels like things are just up in the air it just feels like we're hanging on but we're not really falling off um, I kind of feel like with the lovers, king of cups, queen of wands, this could represent, you know, some sort of connection here that really has a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of fire. Um, I feel like there could even be an interesting um, compatibility here. Like maybe you are connecting to somebody that you normally wouldn't connect to, or maybe you two are very different in specific ways that you are finding to be either a challenge or something beautiful, right? But I do feel like with that lover's there is a divine connection here at play and that hanged man just says that something is just at a halt so let's see if we can get some more insight let's clarify the hanged man and we have the world so i feel like either both of you or one of you is thinking about moving um, in some way and that could be creating a little bit of this feeling of okay so what now so we have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Some of you could have recently maybe received a job offer or the opportunity to travel. Maybe, you know, you are considering moving in order to make the most out of an opportunity. And right behind the world is the Tower. So definitely something life-changing is happening here. Something very transformative. Some sort of, you know, event that has a lot of these, you know, domino effects um, is happening here and I feel like with that three of wands you are contemplating you are seriously you know considering moving in this direction in order to see what this life-changing event is all about but I kind of feel like you could be dealing with maybe a person that is against it somehow maybe that eight of cups is someone sees this as you know a separation or somebody sees this as something that could get in the way of a connection you know i kind of feel like this seven of wands is that um resistance to this move to this change someone doesn't want change right someone does not want change they want things to stay the same but i feel like you see the potential in this and you're like well why not so very interesting and again this is kind of specific so it may not resonate completely with everyone but just take what does and leave the rest let's go ahead and clarify the lovers We have the three of pentacles you know i feel like deep down inside you don't want to do this alone i feel like there is this desire to do it in unison i feel like there is a team here um you know a teamwork energy and i feel like there is a lot of potential for this to end up being good for everyone involved but it's kind of like somebody is still on the fence because they may not see the potential yet they may not be aware of just how much potential there is um, they just see this as maybe a distraction or maybe something that could, again, potentially get in the way of a connection. But we have the Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. And I love seeing that Ten of Cups because I really think it confirms the amount of potential that this has. The fact that it can make you and your person very, very happy, but it's just a matter of kind of helping someone see all of the different possibilities that exist because of this opportunity i feel like with the knight of wands someone could be acting on impulse or maybe doing things um out of you know they could just be reacting to things at this time but i feel like there really needs to be some sort of a discussion of all of the possibilities that do exist rather than jumping to conclusions and assuming 
that this may not be the best but at the end of the day I, I really think that the energies that are coming through are extremely positive so maybe this is about the fact that someone used to think that something was a bad idea but they are now just starting to warm up and they're actually seeing okay yeah maybe this can open up doors for both of us and lead to a very happy um, and, su and successful outcome so maybe that's the tower moment is this person changing their perspective about this situation so Really love this. Let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Wands. And we have the moon. Yeah, it kind of feels like whoever you are connecting to, or maybe this is you, right? Take it how it resonates. Maybe this is vice versa. But I kind of feel like the, the major concern that somebody has here is about the unknown. They may be worried about financial matters specifically right behind the moon is the eight of pentacles so somebody could be thinking well how is this going to affect my money how is this change going to affect my work how am i going to you know survive you know with this new environment or in this new position so i kind of feel like somebody is just really overthinking the stuff that they don't have all of the answers to which you know is very easy to do that it's easy to overthink when you are left in the dark and you don't know what to expect with about the future but that's where we need to kind of come together and try to find a solution. We have the page of wands, five of pentacles, and the nine of swords. So I definitely feel like somebody here really is just um, stressing a lot. That nine of swords, that's the worry, that's the anxiety. Five of pentacles, that's that lack mentality. Somebody is genuinely jumping to conclusions and maybe assuming the, the worst. And I kind of feel like with that page of wands, they're just, they haven't quite seen the other side of it. So I feel like what needs to happen really soon between you and a person um, that you're connecting to is maybe just exploring, just exploring those options, exploring really kind of allowing yourselves to imagine and visualize what the future could hold if you had the potential to control it. So let's go ahead and clarify the King of Cups. And we have the nine of pentacles which i love because i really think that this is where things come together i feel like somebody just needs to see things from the positive side someone has just spent too much time thinking about things in the worst case scenario and we just need to bring them back so that they see things from the positive perspective and i feel like that's how this whole situation is going to get resolved we have the star which is aquarius the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles again so that three of pentacles confirms that you will be stronger together and I feel like that two of pentacles is the fact that somebody needs to make the choice to believe in this. You need to choose to believe that something is going to work. You need to choose to be hopeful, right? It's, it's definitely a choice. We can be optimistic or we can be pessimistic. So I really think that this is both either for you and your cross watcher or maybe just in general, I kind of feel like this is a message that we all need to hear. But I think that right now, specifically for you, Aries, whatever life change you're about to make, it has the potential to be so amazing. But right now it feels like somebody's fears are taking over and getting in the way of the hope. But I think that right now we just need to make this choice. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.